Hello and welcome, it's me Rudy, I'm back. This time I'm in the studio. Now today I wanted to talk to you about club goers, customers, whatever you wanna call it, and uh, making requests to DJs. Now, whether you're a DJ or a club goer, this is for you. Um, I haven't I haven't done it for a long time. The last time I did it was a year ago at a birthday party, and I asked the DJ to play something from The Life of Pablo and he didn't have it unfortunately, but generally not really. Yeah, and no, I think that's quite rude. I think you wouldn't go up to a teacher in the middle of their lesson and say, I need to talk to you about my kids in the middle of them teaching the class. Mm. So I don't know why people would feel like it's okay to do that DJ. The only, the only thing that I can think of why they feel that way is because they probably don't understand the craftsmanship behind DJing and the fact that it's actually a skill. So I think that people take for granted and they just think, oh, well, he's just playing music. Like, how hard can it be to engage with me? I've seen it and I've actually been in the DJ booth while it's happening. I'm just like, what time? Like, especially when the DJ has an idea. I thought DJs have an idea of what they want to play. Mm -hmm. So when you've come in with an request, it could just be looking thinking, no, because it's going to throw up the whole... Exactly. So I just said, nah. And do people even do that anymore? Imagine like you DJ and you're doing house. What, when the house track is like 15 minutes long? And you're going to have time to be like, yeah, I want this song. No, man, just enjoy the music. Exactly. Like, step, out, step out the booth. Step out the booth. I know it seems like a small thing, but it isn't because it happens so often, so much, and for me, it happens on a weekly basis. What happens is people will write stuff down on a piece of paper, shove a phone in your face with something written on notepad. Shoving a phone in my face is my least favorite. Trying to play you a video of whatever they want while you're mixing. Grab your shoulder and tug it back and forth, trying to get your attention, and that is what the annoying thing is. If there was a way that people could ask without getting on anyone else's nerves, then that would be a good thing. People tend to use pre-excuses as to why they should hear the track they've asked for right now. Oh, I missed it. I know you just played it, but can you play it again? Oh, I've got to leave in about five minutes. Can you play my track now? Oh, mate, this is my favorite tune. Can you play this for me? At that point, I begin not to care. I fully understand why some DJs just say, nah, I don't do requests or flat out just say no. Sometimes people just say, yeah, I'll play it and don't. But I believe that you are in a position where you're providing a service for your, your client and their clients, the customers, the punters, the dancers, the ravers, whatever. And the way you deal with it is very important. If you just tell people no, then it's gonna leave a bad taste in their mouth. This young lady wanted to hear a particular track, but I was playing a different genre of music at that time, and she wanted me to play this other thing. Now, bear in mind that the floor was packed. Everyone seemed to be enjoying themselves. I'm dropping the fader on the chorus. Everyone's singing it back. But this girl was particularly um, compelled to ask me for this tune. So I gave her my particular spiel, which is, look, you know what? Let me go look for it. If I can squeeze it in later, I will do. But she kept coming back every five minutes. The fourth time she came back, she came back to stand right by the DJ booth and give me crap. I wanna hear this tune, I wanna hear this tune, I wanna hear this tune. And my blood began to boil, I'm not gonna lie to you. I lost my rag. When it got too much, I essentially told her to shut the f up on the mic while the music stopped. But since that day, I've never done it again. Simply because, if I think back, it was very unprofessional. Now, having said that, later on in the evening, she was still there and came to say sorry for bugging me. I apologised to her for, for losing my rag. Now, if you're in a club or a bar and you're playing at dance floor level, then you're going to have to expect someone to come up to you and ask for a request. And these days, I tend to remember that I'm there for a purpose. If you feel it and it fits, then maybe you should consider playing it. And nine times out of ten, if it's a good tune and I can play it, I will. I like to make people happy. It's what gives me my reputation. If you don't take requests, maybe you're doing yourself a disservice. Let me know what you think down below in the comments and don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and of course, comment. Big shouts to Mr. Voltaire and Garnet's Finest for their comments earlier on, and I'll check you next time. See you later. Peace.